So we're hiking out to our field course area to uh, prep the camp a little bit and ahead of this weekend's course. I'd like to show you one of the things you'll learn. This is a seep spring. See, this is just coming out of the side of the hill. And now you can see the desert vegetation coming up to the circle of grass. And the circle of grass will be bright green in the uh, spring. See, this is frozen here. We're about four, over 4,000 feet in the Sierras, believe it or not. This is high desert where it comes out of the Mojaves. Uh, this grass will be really green, spring through fall, and make it easy to identify. Here's one of the water sources. See, it's oozing just out of the ground. This isn't melted ice. Um, I've been here many times before, so whether that ice is here or not, this is this water's here. And this is real fresh, coming straight out of the ground. See these grasses, strong tubular grasses like these that are frequently found along uh, marshy areas and ponds and, and uh, moist meadows have a very good tensile strength and you can twist them without breaking, which means you can weave these in a rope. It's very nice. See this water source? This is good. Now this is fresh from the source. You ready? I don't know if you can see this. No problems drinking that. Drinking that water wild. It's real good right here. It's fresh, beautiful, clear water. So you check for signs of animals here. There'll frequently be tracks leading to places like this. So you'll see this little animal trail forming here along the ridge line where they come here. So you wanna check this area for any signs of feces or animal waste or decomposing animal parts. See, we're up here at the highest source of the seep spring. See, there's nothing really above us. One, two, three exit points for the water. Now remember, water pools in amoeba-like circles and runs in lines. So when you see plant indicators like this, these reed-like grasses, uh, as well as willow trees, things like that, and you see them in amoeba-like circles or flowing in lines, those are plant indicators of water, and that's how you find water in the field. Okay, get to a high point, something like a knob like that, and you look all around for plant indicators of water, okay? Just like NASA says, where there's water, there's life.